Hello everybody, this is Marcos with Halcyon Technologies. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will be going over how to set up our audio alarm warnings on our new network cameras with built-in speaker. So let's go ahead and get started. Once we have signed into the camera, let's go ahead and go into our configuration tab at the top. And if you haven't done so already, it is highly suggested you change out the IP of the camera so it doesn't conflict in the future. And that can be done under the Networks tab under Basic Settings. Okay, we're going to be focusing more on the alarm aspect of the camera. So we're going to go into Event, Basic Event. And if we go to Audible Alarm Output, here we're going to find the warnings for the camera under Alarm Sound Type. Uh, if we hit the scroll down button right here, these are the 10 preset uh, configured warnings that the camera can uh, say or speak. Uh, so feel free to choose whatever is best suited for your situation. Under alarm types, this is the amount of times the camera will repeat this set command. You can set this to repeat just once or up to 50 times. And under sound volume, pretty obvious. Um, you can set it how loud you want the camera to speak this command. Uh, if you want to lower it all the way down, it will just flash, uh, but it won't say anything, which will defeat the purpose. If you set it all the way high, it will go to the highest peak it can possibly go. If we go to a flashing alarm light, so here is the strobe light. Um, on the camera, if we go into flashing direct duration, uh, we can set this from one second all the way to 60 seconds. And then frequency is going to be uh, the strobe effect. If you set it to high, it's going to be like a club. If you set it low, it's just going to be low and flashing. Okay, if we go to smart event um, and these scene change. Uh, what this does, if it's someone physically moves the camera, um, the alarm will go off. Um, it's a good thing to enable this. Um, we'll go over this sometime later on. We go over to intrusion detection. Um, and this is how we're going to set up our uh, area in which the camera will detect once there's movement, it will show. So first thing we're going to do is actually enable it. And if we go into detection area, we're going to go ahead and mark our area for the intrusion that we want the camera to uh, capture mo uh, motion. Once there's motion in this area, uh, the camera will activate said warning. For the max, um, so what this is, is it's just the max amount of the max size of an object in which the camera will record or set off the warning. And then for a min max, it, that's the minimum uh, size of the object that can set off the uh, alarm. So anything lower than that will not trigger the alarm. And then we can set it off to either go on human alone or vehicle. In this case, I'm going to select both. And then threshold, this is how long um, the said object can loiter around in this area. Um, if you wanted to be instant, you would set it off to zero. If you wanted to be loiter for a bit, you can set it up higher. And then sensitivity, how sensitive you want the sensor to be. Feel free to play around with this. Um, I personally am just messing around with this as we go. So. Once we're done, we're going to go to uh, linkage at the top and make sure these two are uh, are checkmarked. If they are not, this camera will not sound. The camera will not do anything. And once we're done, we're going to hit save. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And feel free to leave a comment. 